Hello gamer fans out there, this is Kamikaze Fly, and we're playing Soma. The, it seems like a robot just got out, and he's sneaking around. He busted through a wall, and I have no idea anything else. I think he's trying to bore me to death with his tears? Is that the robot? I don't even know. I don't know if he, how he broke out. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, what we're looking for is an interactive wireless key. A key card. Since that lock was still in the door, pretty safe to say that the robot didn't come in here. We're still looking for a key card, though. Oh, what's this? An Omni tool. Okay, now I can take this back. Helper Jane. I can take this back to the start. Use tab to see your inventory. Oh, okay, I've got an Omni tool. How do I use my inventory? funny sci-fi music maybe I'm supposed to hide now helmet I'm not just gonna sit here and hide I've got to figure out what I can do human with his head completely ripped off. I don't see his head on the ground. And it's wrapped with robot arms. And this has oil leaking from it. <laughs> I can think of is to take my new tool and go use it on that door. Wait, are these active? I just press tab to see that. right now. Oh, crap. Is there a ceiling? Crap, I'm on TV. I've got to be smarter about this, maybe. Is 
Sound like a dog just snorted. I don't see movement. Okay, so I can take this tool to the where I very first started then. Maybe it'll open this. Nope. I have to walk through there. And there's definitely a critter in there. That steam would burn your face right off. Walking and kneeling, crawling is about the same speed, but by walking you can then also run, and running is about twice the speed. I'm not sure I trust that robot. And always this this dust here looks like a animal. Robot is walking through down there. This is where the robot first came through. Is this moving? Half of me says, just walk around normal. Half of me says, eh, you know there's something there. Maybe he ran through the wall. Okay, he crushed through the wall there. to enable my Omni tool. Chip installer. Service console up to three, including pilot seed activated. Welcome back, Luis Moron. <laughs> Moron. Epsilon, your Omni tool is in perfect condition but not fitted with the tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your fist cat, your fast kit, will be unable, unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Okay, so I've got to figure out what a tool chip looks like. Not fitted with a Cortex chip. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Just unlock the 
toolbox. Does that mean I just ejected it? I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. Witches? I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area. Lambda. Lambda? Virus, or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, mm. sometimes you'll need to get into places it's where a hack you don't tool. belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. Well, I saw a helmet. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. That message wasn't intended for my character. It's intended for the character, the person who owned this Omni tool. Thirteen days remaining. Got an unknown contamination in my basic ductile suit. And there's two suits in use. Okay, so they're not my suit. So you have a tool chip now, and can run the fast kit installation and latest security ciphers. Update. Tool chip Hady 7. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. I want to add more. Well, I can only suspect that these were all... Well, that said... Okay, M... L... Level 3. Later, if I find another one of those or the handle grip, then I'll be sure to come back to here and stick it in. Okay, so a pilot has gone offline. Number three suit is unaccounted for.
Carl Semkin, replace heat shield, southern flu, success, production, restored. Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. Diagnostics show a spike of magnetism around the helmet. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention! The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Unreliable. Everybody who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We'll figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the use of the pilot system. This means you will have to use some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Okay, so the pilot systems not only have gone offline, but the humans have locked locked all of the doors so that possibly the pilots can't get out. So they can't walk around and attack us. So this is where I found pilots suit three got up and walked off oh, what? Oh. okay I'm gonna see if I can put that suit on that I had found Sounds like a dog is sniffing around in here. Okay, here's that helmet. I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. I press tab to just to do it, I guess. Well, the helmet's empty. Where it sounds like a dog sniffing in here, going. <laughs> Those are the items I put at the. F that I put next to the Omni Tool um, machine. here. And I 
was right there. And they took a copy of everything I had over here. Okay, and threw it there. Okay, so they haven't been following me. That's good. Sounds like a dog. <laughs> Looked like a creature. <laughs> Oh, just so you guys know, I have the light on above my head, so you guys can see my face. That's the only reason I have the light on. I normally like to game in the dark. It's nice and quiet. No one can sneak up on me. Yeah, when it's dark, no one can sneak up on you. Oh, well, that was loud enough. I'm gonna go through. And I'm going to shut it. No, shut it. Shut it. Use tool. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm underwater. Lots of pictures of whales and uh, mahi mahi and an eel and a lightsaber <laughs> and a puffer fish and a black abyss and a sucker fish and a clown fish. Oh, what's on the back side? Sometimes, oh, back and different. Thick structure gel they can't shake. Ooh, so the fish have gel on them now. Was freaky fishes. There's a seam. Is the water leaking out of a seam? And there's a pocket. Someone, something's in someone's pocket. There's his pocket again. There's a human outside. And he's got, uh, she's got a helmet on, like a glass helmet. And the fish is swimming and it has another fish in his mouth. It has goo in his mouth. A jellyfish. monster fish with electricity. <laughs> okay. Shark with bionic commando coming out of his, his sides. Like nothing happened, everything still looks the same, all silence alike. So I suppose he took a picture of himself. One of those pictures said, look between the seams. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to access this data buffer. Here we go.
there's a door outside. It's TV screen is shaking. Just in case anybody's wondering if it's theirs or it theirs or the game. Yeah, their monitors are shaking. The LCD screen is shaking. Although it looks like it's supposed to be simulated for fuzz. There was a seam. It said, look at the seam on this one. No. On this one. Yeah, look at the seam. There's two arrows. Back and different. Thick structure of gel they can't shake off. So the fish are getting jellified. Why, why you freaky fish? Why it was freaky fishes. Okay, so there's a arrow, it's a circle with four bolts. Well, what was that? What wow's freaky fishes? By left clicking I was able to bring that up. Okay, anyway, there's nothing else in here. I don't see the circle they're talking about, or I mean, they're uh, writing about. Yeah, you'd think that the shellfish would have been growing on the glass, but maybe they don't like to grow on glass. Maybe they can't suction enough to the glass. Ooh, there's two doors outside. Anyway. This is pretty fun. The, the game has tons of interactability. It doesn't feel like I'm just walking through a static environment. It feels like I have some sort of ability to change. The game just glitched right there and jumped forward, so it just loaded in a new scene. It looks like the lights turned on in here, and they turned off down there. Yeah, stick your ah! finger in that. What was that? Not a good idea. It doesn't hurt anymore. Okay, so now I've just been electrified, probably, with that goo. I can't see anything. And the door's closed from whence I came. So, the only thing left to do is open this. Oh. I had to left click to climb into the door. Climb into the vent system. Maybe I'll find Newton here. Ooh. Graphics just changed. Now instead of being purple, it's or pink, it's mauve in here. I bet you I can't go backwards. That's fine. I 
I'm gonna end the video here and no, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna keep going. No, I am. I'm gonna end the video here and start a new one.